We're going to begin here with the breaking news. The NYPD sergeant just entered a plea in Manhattan court. He's accused of punching one suspect in a holding cell and then attacking another during an arrest. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live now in downtown with more. Ali. Christina Maurice, NYPD Sergeant Philip Wong pleaded not guilty to third degree assault charges at his arraignment here a few minutes ago. Sergeant Wong, Wong stayed silent walking to the Manhattan courtroom this afternoon. The NYPD sergeant is accused of assaulting at least two people in custody. Prosecutors claim the first incident was in October of 2019. The alleged victim was handcuffed and put into a holding cell when he started spitting at officers and kicked the cell door. The sergeant is accused of reopening that cell door and punching the handcuffed person, which cut the prisoner above his eye and required stitches. The NYPD then put the sergeant on desk duty while internal affairs investigated. Prosecutors allege about six months later in April of 2020, Sergeant Wong arrested someone at an Upper West Side subway station and the person in custody taunted the sergeant while in handcuffs and uh, the sergeant Wong then punched the person in the face while he was the supervisor on scene. Wong's defense attorney says in at least one occasion the sergeant, who is Asian American, was set off by the person in custody using an anti-Asian slur. People in this city feel it's perfectly within their jurisdiction and right to simply call a cop anything they want. And they're right. First Amendment protects free speech. But at some point, somebody's got to start to realize that cops aren't getting paid enough to have racial and ethnic slurs, slurs hurled in their faces every single time they step out of a police car. Sources also tell us that the NYPD's Internal Affairs Bureau found body cam footage of at least one incident and handed that over to prosecutors who brought these charges. Wong was working in Transit District 3 at the time and has 16 years with the NYPD. He's due back in court in October. We're live in Lower Manhattan. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. All right, Allie, thank you.